Ladies, gentlemen, techniques like X-ray scattering and X-ray diffraction can somehow probe the structure that we have inside a material. However, it is often difficult to understand the patterns that we see in these experiments. It turns out that the patterns that we see in these experiments can be calculated as the Fourier transform of the structure in the material. To make this easier to understand, we can play around with images. I can show you what a Fourier transform looks like for a given structure by transforming the images, images of this camera. And here we are. Um, you will notice that uh, I've turned this image black and white uh, and the image on this side uh, shows us the Fourier transform of the camera image. Now, I should explain that this uh, that I, ha I have done this dem demonstration before and you can actually find it on, find it on YouTube. Um, so if you've seen it before, uh, don't bother with watching this one because it's pretty much the same demonstration. So let's begin. The most simple structure is a single sphere in a solution. Uh, you will see that the, scatter, uh, that the scattering pattern of that consists of an oscillating function. Um, the, due to Bernoulli's principle, uh, I cannot tell whether it's a white sphere on a black background or a black sphere on a white background, uh, which is commonly referred to as the phase problem in both scattering and diffraction. You see that the patterns are the same. Uh, in scattering, the larger the structure, uh, the smaller the features. So here we see the, the structure of, uh, of a very large sphere. You see that if I, if I take it back a little bit, that the spacing between these, uh, uh, between these oscillations increases. Uh, so the larger the structure, the uh, tighter the, the angles. Uh, anisotropic structures, like uh, cubes and ellipsoids, uh, we'll also show you an anisotropic scattering pattern. Uh, here we see ellipsoids, and you'll see that it, these patterns actually rotate together with the structure. So when you Fourier transform, or when you do a scattering experiment, the only thing that remains uh, conceptually easy is that all the angles, all the rotations, are exactly the same. Now, if I have a solution of, of structures, say spheres, you will see that if the solution is monodispersed, that the oscillations still persist. However, <coughs> if I have a polydispersed structure, you will see that the oscillations uh, uh, disappear because we are now seeing a superposition of the Fourier transforms of each of these structures, more or less. Uh, but of course, for polydispersed aligned structures, we see something like this. So we see a smeared out, uh, a smeared out pattern but you can still see that it's anisotropic, because if we rotate it, you see the main feature rotate together. Now to the diffraction examples. I have here a grid of points. You will see that, the, uh, that we now see the diffraction spots appear on the Fourier transform. And if I increase the spacing between the points, you'll see that the, um, that the uh, Fourier transform spacing reduces. Likewise, if I decrease the spacing between these points simply by moving this further away from the camera, the spacing between the points in Fourier transform increase. <coughs> uh, similarly, we can do grids, in which case you see a nice uh, sort of kaleidoscopic effect of the grids. Um, there is one more feature to this Fourier transform, which I can switch on in a moment. Uh, this is actually more of a gimmick rather than a, rather than a feature. I can do the Fourier transform in color. Um, I still don't know whether it's going to be of any use, but you can show, for example, the interference pattern of spheres of different sizes with different colors. You see that each color has its own uh, interference pattern because the sizes are different. Or you can show the Fourier transform of, uh, of different shapes, each with its own distinct color. Um, as I said, uh, just a gimmick, but uh, it's nice to know that you can do things in color sometimes. Now, if you uh, like a copy of this program, you can. It is a free program and it can be easily downloaded from uh, fo following the links on my website uh, www.lookingatnothing.com. Thank you very much for listening.